probably wanted to respond to the rest of this video really quickly. That's because those people are liberals, and liberals have a tendency for racism. Continue, though. The video of a biracial sharing their racist experience with their white or non-black person of color parents, because that just is what it is. And you know what? Let me be. Let me be specific. It's not just white people. It's non-black people of color as well. Because before anything, non-black people of color are also racist. They hate black people more than anything. So even if one of these people likes you or loves you or wants to marry you or have children with you or whatever remember that they are racist before all of that shit and one day that racism will come to light i kid you not a white person can find you attractive and want to marry you and want to have sex with you and again like i said let me be specific i tend to think that occurs more with people who aren't black at least i've seen it with my own eyes i mean not that weren't black but i mean weren't white sorry um, I've seen it with my own eyes where they, especially mixed people, because they have an insecurity about being mixed. And this occurs um, across the board, I think, especially the ones who, ones who are very white passing, but they really aren't white. Like they're white passing, like completely, but they're so they have this complex where they want to kind of be validated because they feel like the one drop rule kind of invalidates them. So they always have to kind of hide a piece of them, I guess, or whatever. But they want to feel value in their whiteness, I've noticed sometimes. Um, and sometimes they have that complex. And they're more open about it, I think, because they're mixed. As opposed to a white person who does that, then, you know, they wouldn't do that anyway around someone who, like, if they're involved with someone who's black, they wouldn't do that. You know, someone who is mixed would do that because they're already mixed with it. You get what I'm saying? So, like, they don't really have an issue with being with you like that, but they still have that whole colorist complex on themselves that... It's annoying, and I, this is a major reason why, it's, for me, it's always been like I had better experiences with white men than people who were mixed. Like, I see more racism among black men. I've never even dated black men, but I've seen a lot of racism with them. <clears throat> a lot of contempt for blackness and all this stuff. And then, you know, the ones darker than me, always wanting to basically lighten their genes with mine. Basically, not just lighten them, though. <laughs> it's lighten them and other things, like other features that I have that they kind of want for their own. Um, and then there's the whole thing of, like I said, the mixed people. Because I will get involved with white men and mixed men. I don't really have an issue with mixed men. And when I say mixed men, I really don't care if men's mixed with anything, even alien, Asian descent. As, <laughs> but anyway, um, and that's actually happened before, um, the whole Asian situation, but it was only once, and I didn't know. I mean, like, I've always been like, if it's part Asian, I know it, then there's a problem. If I don't know it looking at someone, I don't care what they have in them. That's just how it's always been for me. If I don't see Asian, then I'm okay with it, kind of. You know, sometimes I still was like, it, it's alien? I don't know. It's, it's sometimes it's psychological. Like, if you think Asians are aliens, then someone has Asian in them. And yeah. Anyway, um... My point was, um, you'll see that more with mixed people than you would see that with white people. Continue. Not just white people, non-black people of color too. They can do all of that stuff, and I 
and they will still hate you. They will still hate the fact that you're black. They will still call you and your half black kids niggers, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Honestly, I feel very bad for biracials because they're not black, of course, right? But can you imagine the identity crisis? You grow up being treated like you are black by non-black people, but your ass ain't black though, right? Like, it's kind of... In my experience, um, I wanted to point this out because some people were acting like it was wrong of me or I was attacking dark-skinned black people because I pointed out that... Um, where did I point this out? I had a comment in her comment section somewhere. Anyway, um, where I was saying how black um, people, dark-skinned black people, um, called me the N-word way more times than any white people did, or even white-skinned people for that matter. Never been called the N-word by light-skinned black people. Sometimes they'll try and do the whole damn one. They want you to want to be their color because they want to be the color of white people or whatever. And they'll get pissed off sometimes, whatever, with that. But I've never had them even call me the N-word. It's usually dark-skinned black people usually saying it with a hard R, too, um, to basically prove that you're black or something. Like, say oh you're an n2 like they're hating on you for being black and they feel insecure about your blackness i feel like they get an insecure twice over because people always talk about oreos so-called right but the thing is with that is usually the oreo term is for dark-skinned black people People who aren't dark-skinned aren't usually referred to Oreos because we get so much hate. It's so much worse than being an Oreo. It's so much worse because not only are you not acting the way they want you to, you also don't have the skin tone they have. So now they're really mad at you. And then on top of it, looking a little bit more ambiguous racially to them really irks them especially if they know you're actually black you know it really triggers them basically because they feel like you're doing you're like you're escaping something or something of that nature like you could really escape blackness or something um and, you know, that's the whole problem with why they call dark-skinned black people Orioles is because um, they're saying that your behavior could escape blackness, basically. And that's why there's vitriol towards so-called Orioles, basically. But like I said, the, when you're lighter-skinned and you have the same situation, it's so much worse. And you can't even talk to, like, people who are, you know, more similar to yourself sometimes that are darker skin because they don't understand it and they feel like you're making a situation where they feel inferior I think or something so you really are alone in the situation because no one really gets what it's like you know to be in my position it feels like sometimes anyway um so, yeah, I've had dark-skinned black people, who specifically dark-skinned black people, who would call me the N-word with a hard, hard R in a very racist way um, because they were trying to prove that I was black because they have such vitriol towards black people and blackness because they feel like black people are lower and black people need to know their place, you know? And so then they try to put you in a place that demeans you, basically, because they think you don't, you don't need to be acting normally like all the other white people and other people of other ethnicities. You're supposed to be acting specifically to a subculture, basically that they subscribe to, which to me is like your subculture has 
black people, white people, Hispanic people, Asian people. Yet somehow you see that as a black feature or a black characteristic, you know. I don't know. For me, it's just like it's I've always experienced black people actually calling me the N word. I only had white people call me the N word once around my mother. I was with my mother when I was a kid and they said the N word in plural. So they were calling me the N word that time. And that was the only time I've ever been called the N word by white people to my face. Never been called the n-word by white people outside of that I've only um been called that by black people usually and I, i've noticed uh i always felt like white people didn't really judge me as hard as black people do for anything it's almost like they just place you in the black category and they don't really analyze you more than that you know and it, it feels more comfortable it's almost like i can be myself more around white people than black people outside of that subculture. Now, black people outside of the subculture that some of you claim is black culture, but it's not, it's just subcult a subculture of American culture, which any race could be a part of. Um, I've experienced white people who were in that subculture go freaking crazy that I'm not a part of it. And I've seen black people who had the same um, issue. Like, everyone in that subculture has an issue with it. The fact that I have different mannerism, different behavior, different uh, culture than them, basically. I'm more mainstream. They're, to me, a little abnormal. But um, they ju they're just different. You know, but that's the main reason I've been called the N-word several times by dark-skinned black people, particularly. Continue. It's kind of heartbreaking. I feel bad for them. I mean, you still ain't black. Don't get me wrong, right? But it's like, it's it's sad. I can't imagine, you know, having a non-black parent and, you know, a non-black size of family, and they call me the N-word. You know what I'm saying? That's something I never had to experience growing up because I'm black. I ain't biracial. You know, I'm black. My whole family's black, so that was not a thing. Yeah, my whole family's black as well. Just pointing that out. Right? But, like, it's very sad. You know, and again, that doesn't make you black. Because I see a lot of biracial say stuff like, yeah, I've always been treated like you know, I fucking N word too. Okay, that just makes those people racist. That don't make you black, honey. You pretend that does make you black. It's all about racist. But whatever, I digress, right? Again, I feel like there's many people in these situations. You don't want to talk about the fact that he said his mama ain't do nothing. Because that offers some insight into who. I do know, like, from the context that he was using it in, it's the same context I've heard black people use it in. Like, people like yourself are very different from mainstream black people. Sometimes mainstream black people will call you the N-word and signify that they are black people and you are an N-word. Um, I wouldn't say that myself, personally. I don't do that. Um, and I'm not hateful like that, you know, I don't, to me, I'm just like, you're just different. That doesn't make you an N-word. I don't have to disparage you. I don't have to disrespect you, you know, but some people who are of different subsets and different cultures look down on other cultures and subsets of cultures, basically, you know, and so that's why they'll call certain people the N-word. I said this in the previous video, this doesn't mean that his father thinks he's the n-word. It doesn't mean that he's saying that his wife is the n-word. He is saying that n-words speak a certain way, talk with their hands, and he is basically acting ghetto. That's what he's trying to say. He just happened to use the n-word.
he's not saying that his son is the n-word or his wife he's saying other black people who act a certain way are the n-word maybe people that you're saying belong to a so-called black culture which is honestly not such a thing because there is no such thing as a black culture because black people share the same culture as white people anyway continue let me tell you something that i've noticed y'all gonna be mad at me about this but let me tell you something that i've noticed right a lot of africans and caribbeans they don't care about the n-word because that's not something they were ever called growing up so they really couldn't not all black americans were called the n-word though i mean well we've seen black people use the n-word and uh, it's offensive to many of us you know but not from white people particularly like I said, I've never really experienced black, white people calling me the N-word except one time in my whole life. And that was just a homeless guy at the bus station. So obviously that wasn't very important to me. I mean, outside of that, uh, I've never had a situation where a white person literally called me the N-word. Like I've seen people of color say like racist stuff but they still didn't say the n-word it's only black people black people darker than me always using that word like is and in a disparaging way you know so i i don't know what you mean about like saying that black american people are used to being called that word and how um how hurtful it is to us i i don't know why would it be hurtful when black people use it themselves to me it's not hurtful at all i don't even care about the word anymore because if anything it just seems like black people use it to try to use it as a weapon against other black people more than anything it's not really any other method people use it for these days we don't see white people using that word really unless they're singing a song where a black person made the song and the n-words in it or something but i mean like regularly are they just like throwing that word around attacking people i don't experience this personally you know and my mother rarely experienced that, to be honest. I think she experienced that three times by white people, um, I think. No, it was only two times by white people, actually, I think. I don't even know what the second person's race was. And then one time by a Hispanic person. So she's been called the N-word three times. Um, I think she says that she's not called the N-word to with dark-skinned black people. And this is because, like I said, the skin color difference and how people see that as a threat, basically. When you're lighter than a paper bag, they see that as a threat, basically. Especially when you have other characteristics that aren't what they think are typical for, like, black people. I'm saying characteristics as in personality um customs culture how you speak and so forth um yeah so uh, for me i just think that in total i just want to end on saying you know i don't think that this is particular to white people at all um not the story even i think the story it's probably about the fact that both his parents think that there are N-words and there are black people. It's not just his father who thinks that. It's his mother. That's why she didn't say anything. They both agree on that. Some people will agree with that. Some people think they're N-words and they're black people. I just think they're low-life black people and they're high-life black people. Do we call white people out of their name when they act ghetto? No, we don't. Well, sometimes people use the W word, but I don't really have any interest in it. I don't see any use in using 
the n-word or knockoffs of the n-word i mean just let the word die and i mean that to black people who keep reviving the word and trying to make it um 